Hi, this is a, a video, the uh, second one of the series about making an illustrated style from a oil painting. And uh, this is going to be a shorter video just to uh, show you how you can take it a bit further. So in the last one, we were using this oil painting. And in this one, I'm going to show you how you can edit this oil painting and, uh, and you know, really control what your image is going to be. So I'm going to mix it with this one. Uh, which is uh, a painting I did of Swanage. Uh, they're a pretty unlikely looking mix. I'm going to mix the two together. So, uh, and I'm just going to Photoshop them together, just photo bash them together, really, really simply. And the result is this. So it's, it's, uh, it's a very simple uh, image, and uh, I've done a bit of brightening here and there. So, uh, it's, and I've also prepared three others. One, the same image more or less, with slightly strengthened and uh, with noise added. And then another version of that lighter with a glow here, uh, with also noise added. And finally, uh, a quite over the top one, where all the colours have been changed. And uh, so we've got a, a different um, a different colour range. Uh, so I've done that in, in uh, hue saturation and so forth. So here we are, back in Comfy. And I've made some changes to the prompt. So I've looked at my image here and I've put in what I can see. So we've got a town, we have cars, we have trees. Uh, we don't have a cathedral anymore, so a cathedral is gone. And, uh, and as you see, this is our, our new image loaded in. So what we want to do is to generate on that and see what happens. We're set at a conservative 45 for 0.45 on the uh, on the thing and remember that means that the prompt here is doing 55 percent of the influencing and the image is doing 45. okay so we'll um we'll generate on that see what happens so here we are back and we've been rather lucky really um slightly unexpected but rather interesting uh it um I don't know where we got that from, but it's rather nice. It makes a great focus. So we've actually got quite an unusual mix here. We've got uh, some great looking period -y cars. That is done by the streamline up here. And we've got quite fairly ordinary looking houses. And we have sci-fi sort of stuff going on there. So we've got a we've got a sort of mixture of ordinary and um and weird and wonderful, which I rather like. It's, it's actually quite hard to get an AI to, to do, uh, you know, like a, a, a futuristic sci-fi city. And um, uh, and you, if you want to have a sort of everyday um, city or townscape at the bottom, it really wants to make it all everyday or, or, or all sci-fi. It, re it doesn't want to mix the two. So these, I think, I think that's a pretty good result. So the point of this is that by editing this image here uh, repeatedly and reloading it uh, you can influence what you get here without doing any prompting or anything and it does it much more elegantly so now we're going to do something a little bit more complicated exploiting this so to to take this a bit further what i want to do is add another image so i'll add another image an image load image which we'll put in here and we need to plumb that in so we'll add VA in code hook the VA on and then we, we've got two latents here we need to hook them together and for that you use a, 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 a latent interpolate node which allows you to mix them the two images together in different proportions. So one goes in there, one goes in there. I, I forget now which. Um, and then that goes into the latent. So there we go, we're all plumbed together. It's a great thing about Comfy. I'm going to load my noisy image. There it is. So we've got the same image, but it's um, been posterized a bit and had noise added. So we'll generate that and watch our image and see if there's any change. And I think we want this at half and half. So the images have equal influence now. And there we go. There's our, our noise over image. 
and you see that everything has um, crisped up and become a little bit more coherent. You've now got this rather strange uh, overhead gantry thing, which oh, I don't mind that too much. But it, it, it's not so much what has happened, but but you see that uh, the, the image has generally crisped up and become a little bit more silky. And uh, that's the fault, or <laughs> that's the influence, should I say not fault, of um, the noising in that image and the mix between the two. So we can we can go a little bit more dramatic than that. So what we'll do, we'll upload another noise file, uh, which has a glow here. So we're, we're sort of playing up to this and we've put a glow in here. So you, you see I've, I've made a very simple change in, in Photoshop to add a glow, a bit of a glow there. So we'll cue, cue the prompt again to see if we've had our glow. And there's our glow. And uh, that is very nice. It's almost like this is funky futuristic overhead lighting. But notice we have still got uh, ordinary shops, ordinary cars. All the changes are happening in this area here. Now, with a feeling on this, I think we need a few more lights. So this is the advantage of a simple prompt and setup like this, is that I have good control over what goes on. So if I add street after street, lit windows before town, I should be able to turn the windows on, there's one lit here already, uh, without changing the image too much. And this is the, this is the hallmark of a well-balanced prompt and image. Uh, if you change a word and um, you're in a different planet, then um, it's not very well balanced. There we are, we have lit windows. And uh, our image hasn't changed too much. So we've still got everything we had before, pretty much. Um, but we just have lit windows, so that, that, that is quite a nice uh, thing to happen. So we'll go one stage further. We'll uh, load a more dramatic image in. So this image here is a uh, much bigger change. Okay, so here you go. Quite a dramatic change, and that's the influence of that picture. Now, from my point of view, I think that's a bit too much. So using this proportion here, we can change it. I think that's the right way. I'm not quite sure. We'll see. Either it'll be more over the top or uh, or it'll be uh, quiet and down a bit. One of the two. There we go. That's, uh, that's quietened it down a little bit. But we've still got all the rest of it in there. So I quietened it down quite a lot. Possibly too much, um, but uh, it's fine. I think the image probably needs a little bit more imagination from the prompt. So we've got five. And there we go. I think that's rather good. So again, we still have everything we had before but it's now all a bit punchier so uh, and the and you see the buildings are now uh, more defined and uh, graphic so we you know this this could be an image would sit quite happily in a comic some things here i don't like these <laughs> where they come from but uh, they 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 would be easy easy to touch out and uh, the first thing i would do there is um, i would think on uh, what you wouldn't have to do many seeds before you find a seed that uh, didn't put those in. Okay, so I hope that was informative and uh, it shows you how you can exploit the power of Photoshop to um, to change the generated image wi without going into the prompt and, and so forth. And the um, the changes can can be quite broad and uh, and have a, a, a nice subtle change so you can so we have kept our cars and our buildings throughout okay so i hope you enjoyed that and it was informative thank you for watching